Good evening, and welcome to Raindrop Soaps, the perfect place to escape the rain and dry off. In the center of the store, below the rain-spattered skylights, a brightly dressed shopkeeper quietly moves between the three tables as she organizes a display dedicated to different scents and soaps. She arranges by color and then scent, placing bars of luxurious lavenders, coral-colored rosewood, and finally a forest green exfoliating cypress and pine-scented lava soap into a pastel gradient. In the back of the store, on a large teak desk, miniature bottles with different essential oils are filled. The shop's owner is careful to not spill a drop, each pour measured out perfectly by hand. She finishes one last bottle for the night as the smell of grapefruit, sea salt, and pine emanates from the bottle. She caps the bottle with a small piece of cork as the different colored oils swirl together in a twist of amber, yellow, and blush pink. At the front of the store, Nina, the shop girl, balances on one foot in front of a large oak table. In front of her are three baskets full of soaps. Soaps in the shapes of stars and roses, sailboats and anchors. Soaps in the shape of a perfect square. Round soaps twisted with gray and white, like little whirlpools. Soaps the color of a rainstorm, of clear water. Blue soaps swirled through with pink. Opaque soaps the color of marble. Glittering soaps Milky soaps with smooth, sharp edges. Soaps with jagged edges. Or with edges that crinkle in a perfect pattern. Nina wears a blue and white striped apron. And her hair is tied up in a ponytail. She twists her hair absent-mindedly as she considers the display. She feels moved by the beauty of it all. She likes things to be neat and beautiful. Candlelight falls across her. From a drawer below the oak table, she pulls out long lengths of brown paper. She covers the tabletop with it. This she piles high with tinsel. Outside, a silver rain continues to fall. She removes the soaps from the basket, one by one, and places them delicately on the table. In raindrop soaps, there's a quiet calm over everything. You drift through the store dreaming, past deep white sinks, teas steaming on a fancy stove, candelabras burning softly. Everyone is focused on their task. Claude, 
a young man who works nights at the store, pulls what looks like a cookie tray off the drying rack. The sides are two inches deep, and the tray is filled with a hardened soap mixture. This is the soap loaf, which has been cooling all night. Now it will be divvied up and sliced into chunks of soap. Claude takes a long, fine blade and presses it gently into the top of the slab, scoring it. The indents create smooth lines like graph paper. Claude has a concentrated look. The hair falls over his face. A perfect grid emerges as he presses gently into the surface, again and again. Then he fits the blade into each divot and presses all the way through. It's a satisfying feeling as the slab separates, breaking into perfectly symmetrical squares. Claude slices them into smaller squares, then smaller. As you're walking past, he turns and places one piece in your hand. It's speckled with poppy seeds and pressed with dried rosemary. It feels so smooth in your hand. In a fireplace in the back, logs burn in a square stack. The fire glows dreamily. On the ornate stovetop, a large tea kettle has been set to boil. You wander over, watching Ansel, an employee in a green vest, roll back his sleeves. When the water begins to boil, Ansel removes the top. He places several bags of green tea into the churning water. The tea bags float on the surface for a moment, like stray thoughts, before sinking to the bottom. Ansel pulls a mug off the shelf and offers you some. Most of it will go into the soap mixtures, he says. But there's no reason we can't enjoy some too. The rain deepens, falling in waves against the roof. On the bay trees, it splashes and drums. Smoke rises from the chimney of the store. It looks like something from a movie set, lit up from the inside. Warm and welcoming. A passerby checks their pocket watch and adjusts their parka. Their boots are soaked through with rainwater. Somewhere, someone is waiting for them. But what's another hour? Come in, says the light from the window. Come in, says the smoke from the chimney. There is always time. In the store, there is nothing but time.